Alright, so you might be wondering why I'm on 13,000. I spent every single piece of my 50 million on clothing items and on all the Pegasus vehicles. So, yeah, I instantly regretted it. I was buying it. And then, you know what? I ran into Hello Flush in the session, so it wasn't all that bad. We did a couple of game modes. And after that, I recorded this, which is all the top wall breaches in GTA 5 Online. So let's get straight into the video. Okay, so in the number 5 spot, we have a classic one here in Elysian Island. Right at the bottom of the map here, there will be a tugboat right here. If you walk over onto it by going onto this bridge over here, you'll see that there's this kind of life thing, or what is it called? A lifeguard, life, life jacket ring, I don't know, but... Walk in here and as you can see, when you climb it, you'll be underneath inside the boat and if you stand on one of these things, you'll be safe from any protection because if you stand off of them, your legs will be showing and therefore you can get killed by explosives. So let's move on to the next one. Alright, so in the number 4 spot, we have the FIB building. You want to be on top of the FIB building and you want to have a helicopter and a friend and you want your friend to pull you out of the helicopter so that you fall into the glass roof area here once you fall in it should glitch out if it doesn't work the first time try it again try moving about in different spots but eventually it should glitch you out like how it did for me and force you through the roof now from here there is loads of stuff to explore here most of it's from the bureau raid mission in story mode so most of the design inside here is going to be on fire since that's what happens in the story mode mission and there's loads of stuff to explore that i haven't showed in this video fully so i'm going to let you explore it yourselves i'm just showing a bit of it right now Right, so that's all I'm going to show for this video in this part. So let's move on to the next one because I don't want to spoil anything because I want you to explore it for yourself. And let's go on to number three, which is Michael's safe house in story mode. So all you need to do is head over here on the map if you don't know where it's at already. And from here, you need to register as a CEO and then start up the VIP work, which is called Headhunter. Don't ask me why, it's just it won't work unless you start up this one or any VIP work should work I think and then you want to call and request a job from Gerald, Martin, Simeon, one of those and then from there once you've requested the job you want to start up the job and then you want to back out the job Alright, so as I said before, once you're in the lobby, you just want to quit out of the job and then when you spawn back in, it will spawn you on the spot where you were, but it will spawn you inside of Michael's house. Alright, so in the number 2 spot, we have Trevor's trailer out in Sandy Shores. Now, not many people know about this, but it's basically the same method as to get in the FIB building. You're going to need a helicopter and a friend. Now, this one doesn't work as much as the FIB building one, but it does work. It's more of a 50% chance of hitting it, as you're about to see here. So, you want your friend to pull you out of the buzzard or whichever helicopter you have onto this part. So you want to try and glitch in to Trevor's trailer using this little side part here. You'll see what I mean when I actually glitch through it. So if it doesn't work for you the first time, you might want to move your helicopter a bit closer. You just need to keep testing until you find the right spot for where your friend needs to pull you out. So as you can see, it didn't work there. So we need to go a bit more closer again. Hopefully third time is lucky. So let's go. Okay, so I've moved it a bit closer. Let's see if this one works. And, oh, it's nearly worked. It nearly worked. It glitched us a little. Let's go over here. 
Let's move it a little bit closer or let him try again. Let's let him try again. And now it should be working and we have glitched through. Yeah, so normally you're going to fall into the shower and fall into the toilet. But once you do that, you are now inside Trevor's trailer. You won't be explosives immune because you can still die if you're near the entrance. But yeah, there's a lot of things to explore in here. It does look kind of sick. You can get screenshots and stuff whilst in here and troll your friends. It even has the impotent rage statue right here well the little action figure and now let's move on to the next one which is going to be the honorable mentions now the honorable mentions they are basically ones that i wanted to fit in the video so i've just put these in right now so over here is franklin's old safe house that you get at the start of the game where denise also lives you know the one with the fat ass so what we need to do is go over here to the top and find the glass pane so jack my friend over here has already done that for me and what you want to do is just stand on top of it like this so you want to try and get your player on there so you're standing on the glass pane then you want to go into vip work from your securo serve and start up headhunter so it's similar to how we got into michael's house then request a job from gerald simeon or martin or ron and then just start up that job then once you load into the lobby screen, all you want to do is quickly quit and back out of the job. And you should spawn inside the house like how I have done just here. So now let's move on to the next one, which is ponds and bees up here in the Morningwood area, just by the Del Perro Heights apartments. Now this is the second honorable mention. So this, you need an SUV or a big vehicle. And then you just want to drive up to here and in this little corner spot you'll be able to climb up and you can go inside the ponds and bees area so over here you're pretty much safe on this kind of ledge part here but if you do end up walking further into here you can fall through the actual gaps in ponds and bees and the inside of ponds and bees will still be gray but on other people's screens they might see your legs dangling through and they can shoot you but as long as you're on that ledge pot, you'll be invincible because no one will be able to shoot you or use explosives on you. But as you can see right now, I fell through kind of, so my legs are probably showing inside the store. My friend Jack did this and he got himself stuck inside the display window in Ponds and Bees and I had to kill him. So that is the honorable mentions. Now let's move on to this, which is the number one spot for these wall breaches that I've put here. And it has gone to Franklin's mansion safe house that he gets around halfway through the game it's right here on the map if you didn't know and from here you can climb up using the bins right here and then just climb up and you're going to need an open atomizer for this so it's kind of expensive but you need just some way of ragdolling onto here so i recommend the open atomizer because it's easy and you can do it solo now from here you want to try and line yourself up with this one solar panel here and then you want to try and fire it until it falls into the little part where i shot at so try and line up like how i do here and i'm about to slide through and it has worked so now i'm successfully inside of franklin's mansion i can walk around and do whatever i want in here now that is going to be it for this video this is the top five including honorable mentions i guess wall breaches now i can do a part two if we get to around 25 likes so if you did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.